Hey, this is Phil from Explosive Films, and today I'll show you how to use the wonderful new feature of After Effects that came with CS 5.5, the Warp Stabilizer. Now, this is CS6. I just got CS6, so I had to try it out, of course. I would really just update AE for this feature alone because it's that great. I'll show you in a second. Now, um, what you do is you have your shaky footage and you go to animation warp stabilizer you can also go to effects uh, distort warp stabilizer this will apply it to your footage and start analyzing in the background so you can do something else or you can take the time to get yourself a cup of coffee so I'm back so when it's done, you can choose different options here. Now, I found that the default settings work incredibly well, but you can, of course, choose different options. The result option means uh, you can either choose smooth motion or no motion. Smooth motion is for shots where we actually have motion, and no motion is for shots that are obvious, obviously still shots that are shaky. So you had no tripod laying around, wanted to choose uh, shoot a still shot, but couldn't. Um, this is, of course, right here, a moving shot. So I choose the smooth motion option. Smoothness means uh, if you have a low value, it will, won't smooth out your footage as much, but it won't crop your footage as much. A higher value will smooth out your footage very strongly, but it will crop it very strongly as well. Now, what do I mean by crop? Now, what After Effects does is it stabilizes your footage by repositioning it and rotating it and also uh, possibly scaling it up. You can see that we have these borders. As here, uh, After Effects moved my clip up and rotated it around to stabilize it. Now, of course, you don't want this in the end. So when you choose another option here for framing, so if you choose stabilize crop, it will crop your footage so that it isn't, that it isn't vertical anymore. And if you um, also choose auto scale, it will scale it up to fit the frame. Now this can, of course, distort your footage so you can choose um, under auto scale how much you want your footage to be scaled up so you can limit after effects range of motion here you can also choose stabilize synthesize edges but in some footage as you can see here also in the bottom it will uh, cause some weird artifacts in your footage and I don't want that, so I choose Stabilize Crop Auto Scale. But if it works on your footage, that's great because it won't scale up your footage and cause um, some pixel problems. Now, under Method, we have as a default subspace warp, and that I find gives the best results, especially for shots with a lot of parallax, so moving around objects. You definitely want subspace warp. But if you get notice noticeable distortion in your footage, use another option. So perspective, I found, is also a great option. Uh, position only moves position. That is, of course, in, sh in shots where you have uh, only tilting and you have a little shaky stuff going on. And you use position, posi position scale and rotation speaks for itself as well. Under advanced options, you can choose if you shot it uh, with a DSLR like me, it will automatically um, repair your rolling shutter if you have that in there. Automatic reduction does a great job. Enhanced reduction will do even more. But you have to uh, be careful with that one. Detail analysis um, gives an even better job in analyzing your footage, but it will take a significantly longer time. If you have that time, that's great. I don't right now, so I don't use that right now. 
All right, so I hope you know how to use Warp Stabilizer right now because it's really a great feature in the newest versions of After Effects and you should use it to your advantage on some shaky footage. So I hope this tutorial helped you out with the Warp Stabilizer. If you want to see more, please check us out on Facebook, Twitter and also subscribe to this channel. I'm Phil from Explosive Films, signing out.